Hello, this is a small tutorial on the MIDI routing of the Stochas VST in Reaper. It will not be a tutorial on the Stochas VST as such. There are other uh, tutorials for that. This one will only focus on the MIDI routing to different channels uh, in Reaper. First, you add a track and you add the Stochas VST in the FX chain. Here you see you have your step sequencer and you have different layers. Uh, by default, these are all four routed to the first MIDI channel, as you can see, but this you can change. When you would use Tohas with only one synthesizer, you could typically just write your uh, pattern and then add a synthesizer uh, in the FX chain. Like this. If you want to use uh, the four layers, uh, you can route the synthesizers each to uh, its own channel. For example, layer two, you can um, add a new sequence on top of layer one. Then you have to set up the auto output MIDI channel to another channel, for example, two. And what you can do then is add new tracks to Reaper. You can name the tracks. What you then want to do is uh, you want to route the output of the Stochas VST, clicking on the route button, to the different channels. You see here with, with add new send, add a send to send one, uh, channel two being send one. What you then want to do is uh, select the MIDI channel that is sending. So you want to you do not want to select all because then all the MIDI notes would all go uh, to this channel uh, of all the layers, but you only want to select one MIDI channel. And then you want to do the same with the second. Add new send, send the MIDI notes to send two, uh, and you want to select channel two. You can do this as well with the routing of the receiving channel, then you see you add new receive midi2 but reaper does it automatically for you so now in stochas we have two layers layer one and layer two now we can add our receiving synthesizers in our channels And as you can see now, the audio is routed to the, the MIDI is routed to the audio channels and the audio channels uh, have the separate synths. As you can hear, synth one plays layer one and send two plays layer two. You can repeat these steps for uh, the third and the fourth layer.
with MIDI output MIDI channel 3 and 4. And to make your life easier, you can save this as a default track. To do this, you insert a new track, a group track. For example, Stochas routed MIDI. And then make all these tracks a child of these, uh, this parent track. And then you can save this uh, parent track as a track template. So you can use it in other uh, projects. So this is it. I hope you found, found it useful. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.